Um, so how does this work? We've really gotten to this. It's not complicated, right? In other things that Valor does, we aim to reduce the complexity that historically um, appeared in these processes. If you're setting up a trust, you had to go hire a lawyer and pay them a bunch of money to draft your trust and it could have taken months and you had to send them your information in a Word document. Uh, in solar, you would have had to go out and find a developer to do this and pay a lawyer and set this thing up yourself. And we kind of took that all off your plate. Here, there's much less to do. And while we have streamlined the process even further, you could get into oil and gas tomorrow by going through our onboarding and indicating your interest and we'll we'll get you set up and, and wired very quickly. That that's that's a material improvement, but but there's not a lot to it. So you need to decide on an investment amount, which is something that you can use our calculators for. Um, if you go, uh, you know, maybe you can put up a, a link to the calculator. Um, but if you if you go to our calculator and 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 model this out, you'll find the optimal investment amount. And as soon as we go live with our uh, onboarding for oil and gas, which will be later this week. Um, that calculation will be, will be built in and we'll tell you here is the maximum investment that you could make um, given your income so that you don't have kind of leftover depreciation. So you pick the investment amount um, and that's that's very straightforward. You can do the maximum or anything less than that. It's totally fine. Um, you invest in the fund. That again is straightforward. We connect you with the fund. It's like any other investment fund. You do your diligence. We get you the materials, the prospectus, the pro formas, um, and you do your diligence and then you invest very quick um, and you get to claim your deduction right away this year. If you do this before December 31st, you can deduct that amount when you do your taxes in April. Um, then there's the income stream. Again, we've talked about this. Uh, you're going to get the income over time. It's going to be an annual return. Uh, you get to deduct some of that. And this does go to Jake's question. I'm not going to put it up on the screen because it's long. But the question is kind of how does the income work? Is there a, a kind of liquidity? Um, uh, preference or is there some amount that you have to get to or some extra investment you have to make to access that income? And the answer is no. Uh, if you put in $100,000, you own a percentage of the fund that is equivalent to your buy-in, right, as compared to all of the dollars that went into the fund this year. Um, and you get a, a concomitant percentage of the returns. And it doesn't depend on further investment it only depends on how much income the fund is making. Um, there's no, uh, you know, on the solar side, we, we talk about uh, kind of depreciation basis and phantom income and things like that. No such thing here. Once you buy in, what's coming back to you is just a traditional investment return. And, and it's taxable because it's, it's a yield like a dividend, but, um, but, it's, but it's just there. You don't have to do anything special to get it. Um, so, so yeah, really, really very straightforward. Um, I'm just looking at the questions here to see if we're missing anything I can answer. Um, are we certain the depreciation deduction can be used against portfolio income, specifically capital gains? Um, Farhan, I never want so putting the lawyer hat on for a second. I never, I never want to say certain. Do you have any reason to doubt that this can be used against income from a capital asset, from a por portfolio, from the sale of stock or? No, um, I I can't think of a reason. Uh, Mike, it's a totally fair question. And the answer is yes, this has been vetted with CPAs and lawyers. Um, we have, this is our first year doing oil and gas uh, in, in any, any volume, but it has been done for a long time. And I am almost positive, and we can get a final answer. If you want to schedule a call, we can talk about this and we can pull in our colleagues that this can, that this can be used against capital income, uh, just the same as against. Uh, Kelvin has a, has a question, is there any depreciation recapture at the end of the life, there isn't. Um, yeah. So with yeah. these, there isn't any depreciation recapture. So you cannot, we can go into the nuances, but you cannot um, transfer the ownership. You become LP in a fund moving forward. So it's just the mail money that's coming to you every year. And then after that, you know, when they close the fund, there is no depreciation. Yeah. But just, just to put a, put a bow on it, no depreciation yeah. recapture, you're yeah. getting to claim your depreciation and you're free and clear on the tax stuff. And then it's just income. Thank you.